Hello everyone, my name is Brian Whitaker, but you probably know from another channel, and this is just an update for the uh, why mutual combat should be legal in every state. Now, mutual combat could uh, lower the uh, number of school shootings that happen around the country as they are not spontaneous, but they are actually developed over time. Every human being, especially during puberty, has a, a fantasy, and the best way to stop that fantasy from coming to full fruition so as we've seen in different schools is by just letting people settle whatever initial impulse they have. Okay, some kids just want attention and this really is just the way to do it, honestly. You know, nothing's fatal, nothing is permanent, and it's just to be expected from, honestly, just young adults and teenagers. Now, this is sort of a personal note, you know, this is my, my personal opinion on this. There's always that one kid in, you know, middle school or high school. Of course, this isn't going to be for middle school because that's too young, but this just, just, just for my, just my opinion. There's always that one person in middle school or high school that you're just sort of jealous of or just think it's annoying at least and you, you just kind of want to wail on them. Even, even if you know that you wouldn't be able to beat them in a fight, you kind of just want to get out of your system, you know. Just, just to see what happens. You feel like you would take him on. Because it, it is a he. It, at least for me, it's a he. You know, this. I think this is the best way to do it for everyone who has that feeling. Now, like I said, of course, this is going to be applied to middle school. And so, for, for, for me, I think the minimum age for the mutual combat law should be 16. You know, before anyone says uh, how uh, radical that is, uh, just keep in mind that in Congress, uh, they are actually trying to make an act which uh, lets 16-year-olds vote in elections. So, in fact, this is actually less radical than today's politics slash social standards slash complete lunacy. And the final thing I just want to say about this is 95% of school shooters are basically male, so... I would have to be honest to say this, this law would be almost exclusively for basically men and young adults. Now, of course, I may be called sexist, misogynist, incel, whatever buzz term you have on your fridge nowadays, but I, I don't care because statistically this is just supposed to be for men. Because it, if, if this is to help anyone out, it's it's men who feel just hinged nowadays. And that being said, uh, this might be the last time I talk about this. Maybe, I don't know. But this is just an update. So, uh, I guess that's it then.